Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at circumference of circles. We're going to answer the question, how do I find the circumference of a circle? So the circumference of a circle is the distance around a circle. So if you have a circle right here, the distance around it is the circumference. It can be found by using one of the two formulas, either with the radius or with the diameter. So if you're using the diameter, you will just do pi, which remember pi is about 3.14. So you'll do 3.14 times the diameter to find the circumference, or the radius is twice the diameter. So you can also do 2 times pi 3.14 times the radius. So here's the steps to finding the circumference. You need to determine if you were given the radius or the diameter. And then you will substitute that given information into the correct formula. And then we will solve to find the circumference. All right, let's look at number one. It says find the circumference of the circle. So first we need to decide were we given the diameter or the radius. We were given from edge to edge of the circle, which is the diameter. So the diameter of this circle is eight. So I will be using this formula, circumference equals pi times the diameter. So circumference equals, I'm gonna use 3.14 for pi times the diameter of eight. So I need to do 3.14 times eight. So eight times four is 32. Eight times one is eight plus three is 11. And then eight times three is 24 plus one is 25. So the circumference of this circle would be 25.12 and the unit was meters. All right, let's look at number two. It says find the circumference of the circle. This time they gave us the radius since it is just halfway across the circle. So the radius is seven. So that means I will be using this formula, circumference equals two pi r. So circumference will be two times 3.14 times the radius of seven. Um, multiplication, it doesn't matter what order we do it in, so I'm gonna multiply the easier numbers first. Two times seven is 14. So the circumference will be 3.14 times 14. And now I'm gonna calculate that to figure out the circumference of the circle. So four times four is 16, four times one is four, plus one is five, four times three is 12, and then one times 314 is 314. So now I'm gonna add these, and I get six, nine, three, four. So the circumference of this circle is 43.96 centimeters. Okay, let's look at number three, find the circumference of a circle that has a diameter of 11 inches. So they gave us the diameter, so that means I'm gonna use the formula, circumference equals pi times the diameter. So the circumference will be 3.14 times 11. So 3.14 times 11 one times four is four, one times one is one, one times three is three, and then one times 314 is 314, so I add, and I get 34.54. So the circumference of this circle would be 34.54 inches. All right, number four, find the circumference of a circle that has a radius of 20.1 millimeters. So they gave us the radius, so that means I'm gonna use the formula with the radius, which is two pi r. So to find the circumference, I will do two times 3.14 for pi times 20.1 for the radius. I'm gonna multiply the simpler numbers first. 2 times 20.1 would be 40.2, so to find the circumference, I'll do 3.14 times 
too. So rounded to the nearest hundredth, that would be 126.23 millimeters. Okay, let's talk about another way that we can write numbers involving pi. It's called in terms of pi. So this is a more exact way to write an answer that involves pi since 3.14 is actually an approximation. Pi is a number that goes on forever. Um, so 3.14 is an approximation. So to write your answer in terms of pi, you are going to multiply everything except for pi and then leave the pi symbol in your solution. So instead of multiplying in 3.14, we would just leave that as the pi symbol. So let's look at number five. It says, find the circumference of the circle, leave your answer in terms of pi. So they gave us the radius with this circle since it's just five feet halfway across the circle. So I'm gonna use the formula c equals 2 pi r. So the circumference would be 2 and then instead of putting 3.14 I'm just going to put the pi symbol and then times 5. And now what I'm going to do is just multiply the numbers. 2 times 5 I'm going to simplify that to 10. So the circumference of the circle in terms of pi would be 10 pi feet. Okay, number six says find the circumference of the circle, leave your answer in terms of pi. So this one gave us the diameter since it's the full way across the circle. And the formula with the diameter of a circle is pi times the diameter. So to find the circumference, we will do pi times 14. And simplified in terms of pi is just putting the number out in front and the pi behind it. So the circumference is 14 pi millimeters. Okay, number seven says find the circumference of a circle that has a diameter of 32 centimeters, leave your answer in terms of pi. So they gave us the diameter, so I will be using the formula circumference equals two pi. So, okay, let's look at number seven. It says find the circumference of the circle that has a diameter of 32 centimeters, leave your answer in terms of pi. Pi. So since they gave us the diameter, I'll be using the formula circumference equals pi times the diameter. So the circumference is pi times 32. So the circumference is 32 pi centimeters. Last one, find the circumference of a circle that has a radius of 2.5 feet. Leave your answer in terms of pi. So they gave us the radius. So I'm going to use the formula circumference equals 2 pi r. So circumference will be 2 times pi times the radius of 2.5. And now I'm just going to multiply the numbers together. 2 times 2.5, which would be 5. So that means the circumference is 5 pi 